All right, guys, so let's get started. I'm using three strands of DNC for this. I just personally prefer not using all six. It can be kind of a pain sometimes and I don't always love the way that it looks. So I've got a little circle shape-ish here down at the bottom. And I'm just gonna do split stitch to outline it, which is pretty simple. We talked about it before. You just insert like you would a back stitch, come up a little bit further. Make sure you check out the split stitch video first before checking this out. I like to outline when I fill with this stitch just because, well really any filler stitch I prefer to outline, just because it gives it a more seamless look and then I don't have to worry so much when I'm going to town trying to fill it in if I'm actually getting it on the line that I'm supposed to be getting it on. So when you're going around curves with split stitch, you might want to take it kind of slow and make smaller stitches. That way it goes around the curve a little bit better. Um, if you're doing longer stitches or straight lines, then like the box, then you don't really have to worry too much about the size of your stitches. It kind of is just there to give you an idea of where your needle needs to go when we get to filling things. So I'm gonna finish this up and then we'll get to filling in the circle. So here we are at the end on our last stitch. I'm just gonna insert it into the first stitch we did and come back into my last one. So now we have our little circle shape. Now, if you wanted to, you could just go ahead and fill this in with satin stitch, but I'm gonna show you the other way that I was talking about. So what I do is just start making little stitches different heights and lengths and where they are all going in the same direction to kind of start filling in the space and now why I call it a split stitch is I go a little bit higher than my last stitch and insert it into my one below it just kind of giving it a little bit more texture than the satin stitch is so flat that I like this a little bit better sometimes. And you just keep inserting it, doing what you need to do, covering up any white spots that you may see peeping through. Um, but generally I find it, it helps, it works best if you go in the same direction and you start at the bottom and work your way to the top but definitely by no means does it need to be, if anything, it's not supposed to be uniform. It's supposed to just be more of a random filler. And sometimes this can be good because satin stitch, if it gets too long, it doesn't look quite right. So by doing this way, you don't have to worry so much about how big of a space you're, spill, you're filling up. See like that one, I just did a whole one all the way across, but it kind of just what you feel looks right and looks right and what to you feels like looks more like what you would want it to look like. So I don't like it to be too flat. So I even sometimes will just add in random stitches to make it look less flat and just make sure you get all of the little tiny holes that you may have and just keep on going and I'll show you what my final product looks like in a minute. All right guys, and now I am done. So you can kind of see what it looks like in comparison to the satin stitch. It's just not as shiny. It's easier to fill in bigger spaces with this stitch. And sometimes it's a little bit easier to keep it contained and have it going exactly where you want, whereas satin stitch can sometimes get a little bit confusing. So I hope you enjoyed this little series. Um, a little bit of the stitches that I use. These are mostly, or some version of all of these stitches are what I use in my patterns. So if you see a stitch that's not on here that you see in one of your patterns, I will most likely be making a video for a special stitch. Um, make sure you check out the videos about supplies and um, about how to start and finish your actual stitches because um, I didn't really show you in this video. Um, and just make sure you're checking out all the new information. And if you have any questions, of course, as always, let me know. I'm just going to go over real quick which one each of these is. So this is the back stitch, the chain stitch, 
stem stitch here on the side of the split stitch, French knot, lazy daisy, woven wheel, satin stitch, and Mary Leaf Makes version of split stitch filler stitch brick stitch thing <laughs> so i hope this all made sense to you please let me know again if you have any questions and i look forward to teaching you something new soon thanks so much